Whenever I think of communication, actually it harkens back to my law school days. You heard in the introduction, I'm a lawyer by education. I'm what they call a recovering attorney. So I got out of law school, literally within two days I decided I wasn't going to become an attorney, even though that was on the end of my name. I was proud that I got the accomplishment. I was proud that I could hang the degree on the wall. I could put it on my business card now. But I wasn't going to do anything with it because I didn't have a passion for it. Let me ask you a question. How many of you graduated from high school and the day you were enrolled in college said, I'm going into insurance? <laughs> one. Yeah. There's usually one. There's usually one. Yeah, so we have about 150 people in here. It one, it's less than 1%. It's the same question I ask groups all the time. It's not something that you intend to fall into. When I went to high school, graduated college, and enrolled in law school, I didn't expect that I'd be in front of a group 10, 15 years later talking about motivation and behavioral sciences. So I, I get that. I get that. So the things we're going to talk about more relevant to communication. So I want you to write this down. This is an important quote. The things that you bring into your consciousness, the things you bring into your consciousness are extremely important. The things you bring into your consciousness are extremely important because they dictate the, the content and the quality of your life. They dictate the content and the quality of your life. The things you bring into your consciousness, the things you see, the things you hear, the things you touch, the people you hang around. You know you are who you hang around. You know that, right? I don't need to meet you. Just give me five of your friends in an hour. I'll figure out who you are very quick. Think about the people that you spend the most time with. Just think about that in terms of hours per week. Is it your kids? Is it your spouse? Is it the people in your office? Do they have a good attitude? Do they have a bad attitude? It's going to have a direct influence on what comes into your consciousness. So the things that come into your consciousness, I'll say it one more time, the things that you bring into your consciousness are extremely important because they have a direct influence or impact on the content and the quality of your life. So communication skills we're going to talk about. 